Hey, this is Richard Miller, uh, you know, with the blog Facts for Working People <coughs> and myself. I was going to write this for the blog, but I thought it's, you know, it's a lot easier at times. So I'm sitting out in the garden, uh, did a little bit of work. Now, I was reading my business week and my papers, and I wanted to share some of these statistics with you. You know about the polarization in the United States. Uh, uh, they call it, there's racial, women, immigration. Uh, the, the, the division between the almost civil war-like atmosphere that's here. And, um, of course, within that, there's always the class question. No matter what statistic it is that points out to the inequality, it is always the poor and the working class that suffer most. And in this latest Business Week issue, August the 8th, it's called The Breaking Point, and it's an article I haven't read uh, about the effect about the war on women and this, of course, is from the, uh, the liberal bourgeois point of view. This is not uh, Murdoch or the, the Wall Street Journal. This is Bloomberg. And that's a liberal. He's the 12th richest man in the world. It's a liberal section of the U.S. bourgeois. But anyway, it's got some statistics in here. And I'm just going to read them, and you can use them or go get Business Week or whatever. Uh, and it talks about the number of women that are affected by things in society today. Um, 65 million women are affected by tampons. The price of the box of tampons is up almost 10% through May, plus they've gotten hard to come by. These are important things for women, okay, as much as toilet paper is for men and so forth. Uh, 72, the, 72, the women to, to men's earnings ratio has stayed in the 80s, 80% <coughs> range to 83% range since 2004. That affects 72 million women. 61% of, of the people who provide unpaid care in the US are women. Women hold about two-thirds of student debt. 77 million women, almost 62% almost of women, 77 million of them, reported difficulty paying for a usual household expense in the previous seven days versus 57% of men. Seven states have already imposed abortion bans with a total expected to rise to 26. Only 23% of American workers get paid family leave, and we know who is affected by that and why uh, 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 and who suffers there. Women with children under six have a labor particip participation rate of 66% versus 94% of the comparable male cohort. That's because the women are doing the work. Almost 14 million cisgender female and transgender respondents, cisgender for most of my working class, <laughs> brothers and sisters is heterosexual I believe I was called that rather insultingly by some trendy character once but it's a uh, uh, 14 million cisgender female and transgender respondents in a recent government survey said they sometimes or often didn't have enough to eat um, half of women aged 55 to 66 have no retirement savings the pump act a bill that would have extended workplace breastfeeding protections to at least 9 million nursing parents failed to pass the US Senate in June. That's all a bunch of old rich men. A court struck down a California law requiring public companies in, based in the state to have at least two female directors on board. That's a state that the government, the Democrats rule without fear. It's a, it's a one party state. In a survey, 42% of corporate women said they were often almost always burned out in 2021, up from 32% in 2020. And for those that might criticize me in relation to corporate or, or, or even bourgeois women, socialists and workers and activists should defend corporate women and bourgeois women when they're attacked on the basis of their gender. We, I once wrote an article about Hillary Clinton and the sexism she had to face and somebody, why do I say that she's a horrible this, that and the other, and that's fine, I got plenty to disagree with her with. I side with her when it comes to the question of sexism and women's oppression. I side with her on that and I side with her on that because it's in my best interest to. Women will. She has a right not to be attacked on the basis of her gender. So almost 64% of workers earning the federal, min federal minimum wage or less are women. Women were the target in 62% of hate incidents against Asian American and Pacific Islander persons. Suicide is the number two cause of death for girls and women aged 10 through 24, up from number three a decade ago. America's morta maternal mortality rate of 24 per 100,000 live birth, live births is the highest of any industrialized nation. Now I don't know what the mater maternal, you could go to the CIA fact book 
that would uh, would then it's a great page to go to for resource that would would be able to tell you. But I don't I do know the in, the in, infant mortality rate in little Cuba, never mind an industrial nation, in Cuba is far better than the US, despite the four trillion we spend a year on medical care and the health thing, the sickness industrial complex. And um, our, in Cuba, the uh, life expectancy is, is very similar, about the same. That's in an island that has been blockaded by the most powerful nation on earth. And of course, everybody else that the US uh, to, uh, uh, pulls into line and will punish if they deal with them. And, uh, and you have to ask how, how did they do that? How do they do that? And why is that the case? But anyway, I thought those were a few interesting statistics. I'll post this uh, to the blog and share it. Um, and uh, I was going to write something, uh, something else about politics, but I'll do that another time. Anyway, it's Richard Miller. Uh, I'm with the Facts Working People. If you, do, I have a, I have a, um, I have a uh, YouTube channel under Richard Miller. Um, if you could like this video, this video will be up there. If you like it, check out other videos. Please like it on YouTube and subscribe to the the channel and so forth. All right. So anyway, that's it. I thought these were very interesting and interested and please share them and use them. That's me, Richard Miller, Facts Working People.